Hey guys, Sax226 here, bringing you my one year anniversary Let's Play, Oddworld Adventures for the Game Boy. It's essentially an 8-bit version of Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, the first game that I Let's Played. And since this is a one year anniversary Let's Play, I decided I'd add an extra gimmick. Hello! Yep, I'm using LP Vision for this Let's Play, basically meaning in one window I've got the game, and in the other window, you've got me! So uh, you can see all of my silly, ridiculous reactions to everything that happens in the game. Basically, what I'm going to try and do for this Let's Play is to go through the whole game without dying once. So here we go, here's the menu. Very simple game speak. Whistle 1, Whistle 2, Chant, and Fart. The game speak is used very little in this game, so... Mm. Password system, because there's no save files in this game, so just a password system. And begin, so let's get into it. I fell down a cliff and smashed my head when some big face appeared and said I was dead. Our land was changing, was imbalanced at best. He told me my fate was to rescue the rest, for paramites and scrabs had been sacred once, but that was before ruptured, ruptured, eh, but that was before ruptured farms turned them into lunch. They live in the temples, and that's where they still nest, and facing these creatures, that was my test. And so the game begins. 8-bit goodness in Oddworld. The game begins in Paramonian Temple, which is quite an interesting place for the game to start, but hey. The controls are very different to Abe's Odyssey, so I'll give you a rundown. The directional pad allows you to move. Down is to crouch, and when you crouch, you roll. Up does not make you hoist. Instead, B does. And if you push, another, if you push left and right when you jump, when you hoist, you'll hop. The timing is a bit tough to get, but if you push your direction after you hop and hold it down, it should work. A button is to throw anything you're holding onto, and select is to chant, but if there's nothing in the screen you can possess or chant to activate, Abe kind of just growls. Okay, so our first objective is to feed paramites. We got some meat from the meat sack back there. There's a paramite, as you all know. Pull this lever by pushing the A button. And hey, we've got slogs already. To sneak in this game, you hold the up button and press left or right. Roll through here, and we come to this next area. There is actually a password that gets you to this point in the game, despite the fact that the game doesn't give it to you. And that's a good thing about the setup I'm using at the moment. Because I've got a black border around the game footage and the LP vision, it means the annotations are much clearer. And I'm going to put the password down in an annotation in that black space. But anyway, it's telling us to push select to possess the slig. Slick control is really limited in this game. All you can really do is move and push the A button to shoot. You don't even get game speak with a sleek, so, oh well. Despite looking exactly the same as the meat sack, this is a rock sack. If I throw this, it just disintegrates automatically. So it's a rock, not meat. That can get very confusing, but hey, we'll see how things go. the hopping. Find a lever. Okie doke. Blow up the landmine. Hop across. Need a password for the tram lock, so let's go back. And away we go. Here's the bell tune. Get used to that bell tune because every trial in Paramonian Temple has it.
our temples have grown dark. Ignite the holy fires by throwing flintlock switches. Only when all flintlocks are fired will you be admitted to the temple initiation ceremony. That's the password. And welcome back to the Paramonian Temple Trial Room. Yay. Now the tactic I used in my Let's Play of Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, I can't use. That tactic being going to Trial 5 and taking meat into other trials to make them a little bit easier. So, now I'm going to do them a little bit differently. Or, more so, legitimately. But they function pretty much the same as they did in Abe's Odyssey, so let's get into it. Trial 1. Bring down that. Go up here. Hey, little paramite. Flintlock blocked by landmines. I think you guys can see where this is going. We've been here before in Abe's Odyssey, so... Yeah. So we get some meat. Some meat. There we go. No point really talking to the native new document at this point because we don't have the password. And that'll avoid getting myself nommed by this paramite. Throw the meat over there. And get the password for the native Mudokan. You know, I'm really glad they brought in the whole native Mudokan gimmick into this game. The only thing that disappoints me is... This is the only native Mudokan in this game. In fact, this is one of the only Mudokans in this game. The disappointing thing about this game is there are no Mudokans to save. I'm not sure whether it's disappointing or just random, but yeah, that's the case. Anyway, this stuff sparkling around me that the native Mudokan gave me is Oddworld Adventures equivalent of the Red Soul Ring. And I have to go to dinner, that's awkward. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. 45 minutes later, and we're back. Just pull this lever to open the well, and... No, I really don't need meat, so I'm probably not gonna get that. And even if I did, in Oddworld Adventures, you lose any meat or rocks that you've picked up in any trials when you leave them, so there wouldn't be really much point in grabbing it anyway. So let's just continue. Okay. Yep, just grab the flintlock, jump in the well, and be done with trial one. There we go, trial one done. Now for trial two. Trial two functions a little differently to how it does in Abe's Odyssey. In Abe's Odyssey, you need to run to the next screen to grab one of the Sleek's attention, run back to this screen and jump on the ledge, and then when the Sleek runs in on the bottom ledge, distracted, running after you, you possess him. That doesn't quite work with Ad World Adventures because as soon as the Sleek sees you in this game, he'll shoot. And even if you're not in the screen he is in, if you're in line with his shots, you will still get shot and die. So, the strategy from Abe's Odyssey really doesn't work. So instead you need to use a, use, use a new strategy, which is to run jump off this platform, this platform here, as close to the border of the next screen as possible. That way, one of the sligs will take notice of you. Not sure how, it's just how the game's coding works. And then you run back to this ledge, before he can shoot you. That's the best way I can explain it. And the timing is a little bit difficult to get, but so long as you're listening to the game's music, it can make life much easier. Basically, the cue you're listening for is this. There. The second time it goes, you want to start the run jump. 
So let's see if we can do this. So long as you can do this, you should be able to get through without any hassles. Excellent. You are mine, Slig! Yeah, it's things like that that really make Old World Adventures kind of like Abe's Odyssey hard mode, I guess, is the best way to explain it. But it's still really fun. I really enjoy this game, and it's a very nice challenge. So, if you like Odd World, I would definitely recommend you play this game. It's very underrated and very enjoyable. Alright, the bat and the falling rocks. Flintlock, Bell Tune, and we're out of here carefully. Excellent, excellent. Ah. I'll be totally honest, that was not my first try. I had a lot of trouble with this one, actually. I do not quite. Yeah, the. Blah, 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 blah. I do not like Trial 2. Be it in Abe's Odyssey or in Oddworld Adventures, I do not like it. But hey, we're making some good progress on this game. Two trials out of six already done. So I guess next time in Let's Play Oddworld Adventures, we'll be going to Trial 3, maybe even finishing the rest of the trials in Paramanian Temple. Till then, this has been Saxdo26, and I'll see you next time.